you can be a cook all your life, you can never do your own thing. You know, so we wanted to uh, show people in town things they've never seen before. It's a Sunday night, and a group of talented San Antonio chefs have come together to do what they do best, but in a way they never really get to do it. Nitrogen and smoke and, and really crazy things. Uh, so that's where the concept came through, and everybody has their own different style. You know, some guys are more rustic, some are like more modern. So we kind of got together, and, and we just want to blow people away. I wanted, I wanted to go home saying, what just happened? We all have, you know, same like mindedness we like the way food's going and the way food's going in other places besides like San Antonio so we decided hey why not why, why can't we do it you know so we just came together and it was like hey well let's let's get together uh, let's throw a dinner together uh, at an affordable price that way we can show off our techniques you know quite frankly we we'll make money on this you know they call themselves the Texas Cooks Co-op and they log plenty of hours in other kitchens we have Rico Rico Caters yes so catering company uh, we have Danny he works at Lawrence Water Cuisine uh, we have Jackie, she was working at Sandbar. We have Lou, he's sous chef at Abel on the Riverwalk. Uh, we have Ed, he's staff sergeant in the U.S. Army, he's in the culinary team. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have some awesome people here. Now, once a month, they use that experience to put together a dinner they consider an experience for the guest, a chance to show off lessons learned at some of the best restaurants in the country. We learn these things, we go back to our jobs, and we can't really execute the things that we learn. So let's just do it at a dinner. Let's hold it together. We all, you know, we all know each other, and uh, we learn from each other. I try to u utilize everything I learn in whatever kitchen I've been in, and prove it to myself that I can do it. For example, I love working at Bella, but Bella's a Mediterranean restaurant, kind of homey. Like for us, like we don't get to pick leaves like this, you know, this is like edible stuff, this is a red seashell. I mean, you don't find this stuff like around town, I gotta get this from Ohio. And uh, just working with new ingredients, you know, trying to expand myself, you know, so I can learn. The dinner itself traveled from restaurant to restaurant, thanks to executive chefs willing to let the co-op take advantage of a closed night a privilege that can be its own challenge. For example, if you go to anybody's house and you decide, you know, make guacamole or whatever, you don't know where the bowls are, you don't know where the plates are, you know? So you just kind of figure out your way. It's all the same. It's just finding out what, who has what, where everything's located, and getting familiar with your surroundings. And usually everyone gets along. A little baked scallops and uh, pumpernickel bread pudding. And then there's the challenge that comes with leaving the kitchen itself to present their culinary creations. We are the guys in the back, you know, we're not the executive chefs, we don't go out there and talk to people. But then once we did it, once we did it a couple times, I mean, it's, you're comfortable with your own food, you know, if you know you did it right, it's, it's no big deal. Charred some eggplants, pureed them, dried them out in an oven for a day. A different kind of moment that could one day lead to the best moment of a young chef's life. For some of us, they already have our own, like Rico has his own catering, another guy owns his own food truck, but eventually we want our own brick and mortar, right? So I think this is another, uh, let's say, outlet for somebody to say, hey, I had Lewis's food, maybe why not give him a chance? Why not invest some money in him? Because, you know, some of us, they want us, like some of us have our own little ragtag business plan, but at least taste our food first and then come talk to us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So eventually there'll be that opportunity, that open door. I mean, we needs to crack, you know? But for now, the group is enjoying its chance to break out of their own shell. The only challenge, I guess, is just like making sure that everything is executed well, and that's that's all on me. And let local food lovers break out of theirs. We saw in a matter of hours. Like, people know on, on our Facebook, our Twitter, that we're doing a dinner, and they just sell out. They're craving this type of food. They're craving this type of experience.